This video is explaining what Carroll and Venn diagrams are in math. <coughs> so what are Carroll and Venn diagrams? Carroll and Venn diagrams are two different ways of organizing anything like uh, numbers, words, animals, um, it just depends. So they are two ways of organizing information or data. Okay. So we have an example of a Carroll diagram here, and you'll see a couple of uh, features about it. Uh, this Carroll diagram has two uh, rows here and here, and it has two columns. And this is pretty much uh, how Carroll diagrams look. All right, in this particular Carroll diagram, all the numbers coming down this column have to be multiples of six. And all the numbers coming down this column have to be not multiples of six. That's why it's so important, so very, very important to read the question and to read the information that's being provided to you, whether it's uh, uh, in a test or a, in a piece of homework or a class assignment, you have to carefully read what is being given to you. In this particular case, this row here, everything you write in this row has to be an even number. And in this row, everything has to be an odd number. So I've given you a set of numbers here all right, and the idea is you have to take a number, say 12, and you have to decide which of these four boxes 12 will go into. So, for example, if you decided, I'm not going to say whether this is right or wrong, but if you decided to put 12 here, you have to make sure that it is both not a multiple of 6 and it is an odd number. Okay, so you have two criteria to... Uh, make sure your number satisfies. Okay, so stop the video for a few seconds. Try and work out which of these four numbers goes in which of these four boxes. You may have more than one number in a box, and you may have no numbers in any in a particular box. That's, that's perfectly okay. Okay, so stop the video. Work out which of these numbers goes in which box, and then you can start the video, and I'll show you uh, what I came up with. Okay, so um, the first number we'll start with was 12. In the example, I said that uh, I suggested that 12 might go in this box, but obviously I was, I was trying not to give you the answer. So 12, first of all, is it a multiple of 6? Well, yes, it is. So it's going to go in this column here, one of these two, uh, one of these two columns here, because it is a multiple of 6, okay? The next thing we have to think about uh, for 12 is, is it an even number or is it an odd number? Well, if you know you, the difference between even and odd numbers, you'll know that all you have to do is look at the last digit of any number. And if it is two, four, uh, sorry, 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, then it is an even number. So that means that in this case, 12 is an even number. So we will write 12 in the first box. Okay. All right. Now, now we are at uh, 15. Okay. Now, uh, we need to decide whether it's a multiple of 6 or not a multiple of 6. Well, I don't think six, uh, 15 of, arrives on the uh, 6 times table anyway, so that means that it's not a multiple of 6. That means automatically it's going to be in one of these two boxes. And the next question we have to ask is, is it even or odd? Well, as I said before, look at the last digit. If the last digit is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, it is an even number. That means that 15 is an odd number. So it's not a multiple of 6, and it's an odd number. That means it goes in this box right here. So we'll write that in. Okay. And now 10, is it a multiple of 6? Nope. So it's going to be in one of these two boxes. Is it even or odd? Well, it's an even number, so that means 10 is going to go in this box here. Okay. 
Oops. And our last number, 17, is it a multiple of 6 or not a multiple of 6? Well, it's not a multiple of 6 because it doesn't appear on the 6 times table anywhere. So is it even or odd? Well, it's not going to be even because 7 is not an even number. Okay, so it's going to be an odd number. So it's going to be in this box with the 15. Okay, so just write 17. <coughs> Excuse me. And you'll notice now that we've got a completely empty box here. That's perfectly okay. If you've got the right numbers in the right boxes, it's perfectly fine to have a box that's empty. That might be part of the question. All right. Okay. Let's right. Let's look at uh, Venn diagrams. You can see here that there are two basic types of Venn diagrams. There are the two circle Venn diagrams, and then there are the three circle Venn diagrams. All right. Uh, and the idea is this: um, if you have, um, uh, for example, we're looking at multiples of four. So this, everything in this circle here is a multiple of four. And in this question here, in this circle, we're looking at multiples of 6. That means that everything over here is a multiple of 6. But what about in the middle? Well, the numbers you put in the middle are numbers that appear both in the 4 times table and the 6 times table. Okay? I'll show you what I mean. Okay, the first number we have here is 4. Okay? Well, obviously... 4 is a multiple of 4, but is it a multiple of 6? No. So that means that 4 goes here. Okay. Now we go to 8. Okay, so we're looking at this 8 here. Is it a multiple of 4? Sure it is. Is it a multiple of 6? No. So we write 8 here. Now, notice I'm not writing them in the middle. Because neither 4 nor 8 are also multiples of 6. All right. Okay, so now we go to the next number, 12. Is it a multiple of 4 or 6? Well, it's a multiple of 4 for sure, but it's also a multiple of 6 because it's on the 6 times table. So that means because it's on both the 4 and 6 times table, we write 12 in the middle. Okay. And now we go to 16. Is 16 a multiple of 4? Yes, it is. Is it a multiple of 6? No, so we write 16 here. And 20, is 20 a multiple of 4? Yes, it is. Is it a multiple of 6? No, so we write 20. What about 24? Well, that's another one that goes in with the 12 because it's on the bo both the 4 and the 6 times table. So we write 24 here. Okay, and you would just keep going along with the rest of the numbers in the, in the group. Okay, for our next example here, um, this one here, okay, this is uh, more complicated and you're really not likely to get this uh, complicated a question uh, in year four, but essentially the idea is the same, except now you have um, more uh, sections in the middle. So, for example, to be here in this part of the diagram, a number would be both a multiple of 8 and a multiple of 4. Okay, it would go here. To be in this section here, a number would have to be a multiple of 6 and a multiple of 4. Okay, for to be in there. To be here, a number would have to be a multiple of 8 and a multiple of 6 to be here. But what about this middle part? Well, that would be a very select group of numbers because that number that goes in here would have to be a multiple of 8 and 4 and 6. Whatever numbers or number you write in here has to be on the 8, 4, or 6 times table. Okay? So, um, depending on what group of numbers you're given, you may not have anything in there or you may have one or two, whatever. All right? So... Um, what you can do is uh, have a look at the list of numbers along the bottom here and see if you can put the numbers into the right places in this example. So stop the video, see if you can work out where to put the numbers, then start the video again and I'll show you where I would have put them. Okay?
Okay, so you can see that I have uh, filled in the uh, Venn diagram for you. And you'll see that um, there, are all, there are no numbers that are exclusively multiples of 8 uh, and exclusively multiples of 6, all right? They are all a combination, all connected in some way with um, multiples of 4, okay? So you can see here, these are the numbers that are uh, appearing only on the 4 times table. They don't appear on the 6 or 8 times table. These two numbers here, 36 and 12, they appear on both the 6 and the 4 times table. These three numbers here, 16, 8, and 32, they appear on both the 8 and the 4 times table. And the only number that appears in all three of these times tables is 24. So that means that 24 is a multiple of 6, of 4, and of 8. Okay? And that's how Venn diagrams work. All right. I hope that's been helpful. Sorry to be a little bit long, but I hope it's helpful. Good luck.